I never anticipated going through something like this. Although I had heard of such experiences before, they always felt distant and insignificant. It was like observing a tiger or a lion from behind the safety of zoo bars, without any real threat of encountering them in the wild. Life is truly unpredictable, often surprising us from the most unexpected places. My wife Elena and I have been married for over 20 years. Of course, when we first met, she was not yet Elena Sergeevna, a highly experienced and accomplished teacher. We crossed paths at a dance, and it was love at first sight for me. She had beautiful blue eyes, a slender figure, and a slightly sun-kissed complexion, as if she had just returned from a cruise. I pursued her relentlessly, like many other male residents of our dormitory, and often dreamed about her. But in the end, she chose me. When I proposed, she eagerly said yes and sealed it with a passionate kiss that left me speechless. Our family boat has experienced both calm waters of prosperity and tranquility, as well as storms of domestic issues and hidden reefs of misunderstandings and resentment. Just like any other family, exactly one year after our wedding, our son Dennis was born. He's now in his late teens and already thinking about starting his own family and becoming a part of society. Our careers couldn't be more different and seemingly incompatible. Alina is an esteemed English teacher at a prestigious school in the city, while I work as a metallurgist and a foreman at the Titan plant. Despite our diverse interests, we have managed to maintain a deep connection. I hold dear the memories of our initial meeting, our wedding day, and even modern celebrations like Valentine's Day. We used to exchange romantic cards and gifts to commemorate these occasions. Although there may be challenges behind closed doors, it's evident that the true demons reside not in the depths of dark waters, but rather in the captivating azure eyes of my wife. Alina is considered a top-tier professional in her field, and in her spare time, she offers private tutoring to supplement our income. Due to my shifting work schedule, I am not always home, and every extra penny counts. In fact, it was thanks to our recent purchase of a Nissan on credit, a dream of ours for so long, that we realized the importance of hard work and perseverance. As someone who never owned a car before, I have grown to love it deeply, endlessly polishing and caring for it. As the saying goes, you give a child what they want. Typically, my wife would take on students from the category of high school students preparing to enter language universities in our vast country. She didn't often work with children of primary school age, preferring to communicate with their older counterparts. Her reputation in the city was excellent, and the students she trained successfully passed the admission exams in 90% of cases. After two decades of living together, I had grown accustomed to all kinds of students, fashionable girls, boys with wild hairstyles, and typical teenagers. They were always present in any educational institution, so imagine my surprise when I opened the front door to the sound of the doorbell and found a tall man in his thirties standing confidently on the threshold, exuding an air of someone who knows what they want from life. Hello, Alina Serdievna. May I? The young man asked politely. Of course you may. What can I help you with? I replied, still visibly perplexed. I will be taking English lessons from her, he replied. Clearly, he noticed the confusion on my face which no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't hide. In my opinion, it's a little late for you to be learning languages, or, as they say, it's too late to drink borjomi, I remarked. In such cases, it's not for you to decide, Sergei. My wife whispered from somewhere behind me, commanding, Igor, come in, don't be shy. I was dumbfounded, but obediently let the guest into the apartment and closed the door behind him. My wife seemed pleased to have visitors, intentionally dressing in a skirt that flattered her curvy hips and the most beautiful blouse from her collection, with a deep neckline that drew the attention of any male gaze. I had forbidden her from wearing that outfit, but since we were at home, I silently swallowed my resentment and retreated to my room. Through the slightly open door that separated our rooms, I observed the visitor and found myself feeling uneasy. However, I pushed aside those negative thoughts and turned on the champion's lead match, firmly closing the door that separated me from English lessons and grammar. With time, I grew accustomed to his presence, as he came regularly and never behaved inappropriately. 
Occasionally, he would bring flowers or a small cake. I peered at the conversation through my fingers, my head filled with all sorts of worries from work. In the factory smoking room, where lewd anecdotes and sparkling jokes always flourished, I overheard a conversation that intrigued me greatly. I heard Sir Gaichu's car got doused with acid in the parking lot. It's going to cost him 20000 to repair it. And Mishka's car has an obscene word scratched onto the hood with a nail. My colleague shared. I felt a slight tension and imagined how expensive it would be to fix my new car. Finding the right paint and skilled craftsmen would be quite the challenge. My neighbor bought a camera and installed it at his house's entrance. Now the criminals won't get away. Petrovich, a welder from my unit, chimed in. After analyzing all of this, I turned to my acquaintance who specialized in selling office equipment and various gadgets. My request puzzled Vadim, but once he understood what I needed, he burst out laughing and slapped his knees. Oh, that's hilarious. I thought you were trying to frame Lena. I'll get you a camera. Can you install it yourself? He asked. Yes, of course I can, I replied. Great, Vadim said calming down a bit, and retrieved a small box with a camera from the bottom drawer of his desk. Here you go. This is the best model so far. The image detail is amazing. The resolution is superb. Most importantly, it's discreet and blends seamlessly into any interior. But there's one condition. You need to activate the operating system and update the settings by shooting somewhere at home when you first turn it on. Okay, I understand. I said as I paid for the camera and left, clutching my coveted purchase, unaware of the role it would play in my future. My son understood my request and helped me install the camera one weekend. Without much thought, we placed it in the hallway. Well, let it hang there for now, my son reasoned. We can hang it in the driveway soon so you can keep an eye on your beloved car. And so, the camera remained hidden in the hallway. Soon, I had a visit to the shop from higher-ups for an inspection, and I completely forgot about the camera and its recording. It wasn't until the paperwork and protocol scrutiny subsided and the threat of dismissal had passed that I regained my senses. On a Saturday night, my son and daughter-in-law came over to our house, and we finally decided to check the camera. Let's see what's going on, my son said with a hint of excitement. Yeah, why not, I replied. Suddenly, I caught a glimpse of unease in my daughter-in-law's face, poorly concealed and filled with anxiety. It happened to her once when she accidentally threw my pants containing my passport into the washing machine. However, I now kept the important document in a more secure place. That's why I was confused. I managed to display the camera's image on the TV in the living room, which was my pride and favorite possession in the apartment. As expected, the footage was not interesting. Wanting to quickly review it, I pressed the rewind button. Frames flashed on the screen like a kaleidoscope from a fairy tale. And then, unexpectedly, among the ordinary scenes, I saw something that made me tense up and filled me with anger. In the video, my wife came home, followed by a much younger man named Igor. An hour later, Igor was seen with bare feet in the bathroom, as if he owned the place. My wife ran out of the room and locked herself in the bathroom. My son and daughter-in-law didn't say a word, but silently packed their things and called a taxi to leave. Emotions reached their limit as I shouted and demanded answers from Lenka. Through the bathroom door, she sobbed and confessed, too ashamed to face me directly. Apparently, she and Igor had been having an affair since their early school days. I'm sorry, Serej, my wife whispered amidst her tears. In anger, I growled, God may forgive you. This has never happened to me before, she continued, sobbing. After so many years together, so many experiences. Somehow, the devil seduced me, there's no other explanation. He is young and charming, and he captivated my mind. I couldn't sleep or live without him. It was like an obsession. I don't believe you, but you've truly deceived me this time, I said angrily. I'll be wearing horns now, all because of you. This is how you repay everything. Seriosenka, let's start over, as if nothing happened. Please, give me a second chance. My wife pleaded desperately, exhaustion evident in her voice. Her words tugged at painful strings in my heart, but I shook my head in pain and longing. 
expressing my negativity. I left the house and bid her farewell, suggesting that she cool down and think things through before filing for a divorce. <laughs>